What do you remember about Richard Pierce as, as a man? You must be very sort of vague memory because you were so young. He was a very quiet man. Very quiet, very... Uh, he was a very quiet man. I can put it no, no better than that. If he came to ask anything, there was no bluster about him. Did he have many friends? Uh, yes, up in the, uh, in the White Tui, yes, he had the farmers round or... They thought a lot of Pierce. The family generally too, presumably. The then. farmers in general, up around there. Up around Waitui. What did people in the district, can you remember what they, they thought when he, when he tried to fly? Yes. I can remember that quite well. Uh, because with my mother, you see, they were all very religious. All those people around there were religious. And uh, mother reckoned that if, uh, if, the powers of the God had been that men were supposed to fly, they'd had wings. Now that was the thought of all of them. There were a big lot of uh, these, uh, not Presbyterians, um, Plymouth Brethren. And uh, no, they were right against it. Well, what did your mother do when she found out you'd, you'd actually seen him fly? She was both a patron. Because, because on religious because grounds? On religious grounds, yes. We had no right going there. Because that wasn't meant. No man was... Uh, nobody was... That air belonged to birds, not to the human being. This wasn't right. Can you remember how you... how it was in the first place you came to see the flight? Do you remember why you were there? Well, the only reason that I remember, Ramsey was taking me out. Ramsey was your brother? Ramsey was my elder, uh, the elder brother, yes. He was taking me out uh, on the, the usual excursions. Maybe it was shooting, maybe it was down swimming, or no matter what it was, Ramsey took me. Uh, he had heard that Richard Pierce was going to try to fly, is that right? Yes. Apparently he had heard that Richard Pierce was going to fly and said nothing to anybody but just joined the crowd. The, these youths of his... They, they were all youths, were they? In all the youths, crowd? yes. Just all the crowd of irks. Okay, and, and, and when you got to the, to the place that it was supposed to happen, what, what was there and, and what did happen? Well, there was a couple of horses and a dray and uh, this contraption. This aeroplane, we'll call it, if you like. Um, he headed, as I say, he headed down the hill. He thought he could take off that way. Maybe it was, uh, maybe he was going to use uh, the wind that was blowing. I don't know his idea. But he, first of all, went down the hill and in, into the, uh, into this clump of gorse. Did he get off the ground? Or no. Did he, he, didn't, he didn't leave the ground at all the first didn't time? Didn't leave the ground at all, no. No, but apparently he reckoned that if he could get off the ground he could fly and that was the reason why he went over the cliff. They inspected, they had a good inspection and had a look and seen and so fashion, walked over for all the boys and him walked over for oh half an hour. So you, you mean after he went ended up in the gorse? After they got he the ended plane up in the gorse and they pulled him out onto the top where the dray was again. Apparently he towed that there by with a dray from where he'd uh, manufactured it up in his shed. That's what, uh, well, that's what I gather now. And he, and he tried again? No, he didn't try again until they headed him towards the cliff. This was the same day, though, was it? This the yeah. same day, or oh, this all happened within an hour, an hour and a half. And they headed him towards the cliff, and he got the engine going, which was a frightening noise. And he got the engine going like fun, and the boy started pushing for to, get, to get him some speed up. And about halfway towards the cliff, that would be, or oh, they'd pushed him about a chain. It was going too fast for them to keep up with it. And away he went, and we watched him until he turned. You saw him in the air? We saw him in the air, over the cliff turning. He turned for to go up the river. 
Well, then we cut across the paddock diagonally about halfway from where he started to where he landed. We, we could watch from the cliff where he was going. Down on, he was just gradually going down, uh, going downwards. How far from the cliff to where he landed would it have been, do you think? It'd be ending up to half a mile. Ending up to half a mile that he went in the air before he landed in, in the uh, in the upper heat. He went actually into the water? Oh yes, he went into the water. Yes, because he, he had to come across the river and up that, as you've got the, uh, as you've got in the drawing there, he came up there and then up to us where we were. Was he wet? Oh, he was wet, certainly he was wet. Oh yes, he was wet right enough. And what year was this? Hmm? What what year? When did when did this happen? Or three? Nineteen oh three. Yes, as uh, as I pinpointed it, and um, I didn't know that they had uh, made investigations regarding this uh, snowstorm. I just mentioned the snowstorm as my idea, but other people have gone into it. They've got. To, uh, these, uh, you know, the weather reports, and they find out that I was correct that the uh, that the thing was an old tree, that that snowstorm was just shortly after this flight. This would have been about March or April, would it? By your recollection? Yes, it would be, be the beginning of April, I should think, because my dad had gone up for the duck shooting to my brother, Sam, who was manager of this of uh, Simon's Pass Sheep Station. He'd gone up there for the duck shooting and this uh, snowstorm came, in, came on and Dad got marooned up there, but he knew the country that well that he eventually got back. And then he sent Ramsey up there for to help my brother Sam in the skinning of the dead sheep. That's all that the... Uh, that was all the station owners got out of their, uh, dead, out of their mother sheep was, yeah. was the skins. And Ramsey never come back again. He never come back to Person Point again. So he would have been about 14, would he? Uh, yes, he'd so. left school. Yes, he'd just left school. And he stayed up there, he worked with Sam. And if I only knew where that photograph was, that would settle a whole lot, but it's a long time ago, you know. Sam took a photo of the two brothers skinning sheep. And that was... In that year? That was in that snowstorm, or, or three. To the best of your knowledge, was there ever any other flights before or after this one? Was there any talk of it? No, no. Not before or after. I never heard anything more of it until, of course, uh, I got working and Pierce was building another plane. And that's the plane that's in the, uh, this uh, place now. The other plane? Yes. And his first plane was, a very, was very much the same, only this apparently had a bigger engine. That was his idea, more power, apparently. Uh, don't take that for granted, though. You, you don't remember what the first plane looked like very well, do you? Yes. Very much like this thing here. And, of course, to me, it was a, an immense thing uh, as a youth. It was very much after the style of what he, what he has there now. Just one thing. You are definitely convinced that Richard Pierce flew before the Wright brothers did in America. Oh! There's no argument point about it. He flew nine months before them. W w flew, now hold on. What are they going to call a flight? Now, as I say, this uh, youth in the uh, technology business, uh, he trumped my ace when he said, it wasn't a flight, he never rose off the ground. Well, he didn't rise off the ground, he's pushed off it. That was all that was about it. But he did fly through the air. 
he did, he was powered through the air on a glide, let us put it that way. He glided from where he was pushed over to where he landed in the creek. And as I say, that was ending up to half a mile. You could measure it if you liked. And as you say, there's a few of those trees left there. Well, that was a big plantation. How high was the cliff? Oh, what, 50 to 70 foot? That's about all. The cliff is there at the present time. But the course of the river is completely altered to when I remember it.